Hi, I'm going to give you a quick tour or just really an intro um, to extracting an article and the uh, US Agency for Healthcare Quality and Research's Systematic Review Data Repository or SRDR. So first, uh, let me show you, I'll share my screen. And what you will be able to see here is the projects that we've got now, depending on how many, um, you know, how many projects you have, you'll see a different number than I have. Um, but what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go into this one, the VA Airborne Hazards. I click on Extractions. That'll take me into basically the key work area. Now, let me describe what you're seeing here. Uh, right here, uh, under Assigned User, you will see all of the different uh, people who are involved in this project and are contributors. And so um, you can see here, uh, there's mine. Um, if I need to get into, and I can, I can sort, so I can see all of my work together that I've been assigned. And you can see here, I've got one that's um, just starting. So I can click on that, on work. Now, one of the first things to notice is that you have to select key questions. The, the um, items will only appear in the tabs if the key questions are selected. Let me show you an example of what I mean. So here, I'll get in, and you'll notice that there's no um, questions selected. And so if I click into, say, design details, I'm not going to see any questions whatsoever. However, as soon as I select the questions, and this article happens to be about these two topics, when I click in, then I'm going to see all of the different fields that I'll need to fill out. Um, something else to uh, pay attention to are some of the tools at the top. Now, if you're primarily just doing data extraction, Really, Extractions is the only um, tab that you'll need to access or do anything with. Um, but when you, um, if you are a project leader, um, then you'll be using many more of these um, tabs. But for now, we'll just stick with the Extractions. Um, when you're doing the Extractions, it's a very good idea to have your article open as well. All right, and you can see um, often if I'm on a Mac, what I'll do is I'll, you know, use dual desktops. If I'm working in, if I'm working on a PC with a large enough screen or two screens, I'll have the article open as well as the, um, let me just jump down here. I'll have the article as well as the extraction template open. And that way I can just walk through um, you know, answering the questions, jumping back and forth uh, as I need to. So that's how we get started in SRDR. Um, and uh, there are some more tips and tricks to actually identifying um, ex uh, arms, outcomes, et cetera, that we can talk about in a different video.